Hey guys, Dave here, and this is the second part of the anti Carlson game, where you have to play the robots to stop Carlson from stealing the milk. Because, you know, he already had way too much. And if you haven't seen the first part yet, make sure to do that before you continue watching. So, you can already play the robots. The problem now is the AI for Carlson. I want him to run through the whole map and try stealing the milk. But not just running, you know, I want him to jump, wall run, double jump, dash and also use his jetpack. But as far as I know, <laughs> that would be pretty much impossible to code. So I came up with the idea that I would play Carlson and while playing him, I would record his movement and make an animation out of it and afterwards I could just play the animation. That should do it, I guess. And here's the script which is going to record the animation. It basically just takes the position and rotation of Carlson every single frame and then creates an animation out of that. Let's try it out, yay! I'm kinda surprised, but it actually worked. Just to show it once more, I'm in play mode right now and I'm not tapping a single button. <laughs> I'm super happy, that's the easiest AI I've ever done. The only problem is, Carlson is way too fast right now. Guys, you would need to have some next level aim. Even if I take this shortcut here... <laughs> It's just impossible. He's just way too skilled. Anyway, I quickly made some balance changes and now it's much easier. The gun shoots like a thousand bullets per second. <laughs> Have a look at that bullet count. I, I mean, it worked, right? The game is now easier, what do you want more? So if you ever have problems with your game being too difficult, there you go, you're welcome. No seriously now, I increased the scale of Carlson's hitbox, made him move slower and the bots move faster, and that makes it a bit more playable. Anyway, I want to improve the graphics a bit, and what would fit better than a milk waterfall, so <laughs> it's basically a milk fall, but I realized it's quite unrealistic that the milk just floats out of the air, I mean, that's not really happening in real life, right? So I put the giant floating milk carton there, way better. I also reused the island and palm trees a few times, just that the ocean doesn't look so empty. And the same thing with the milk falls. And of course also added some post processing. And since the game is pretty bad now, I thought I might just put an enjoyable video in it. So I don't know, you can watch that if you want. By the way, what would happen if I dragged Danny's video in a ball? Nice! Yes, that's exactly what the game needs. And at this point I nearly got a heart attack, because I moved my project files around to free some space on my disk, and then I couldn't find them anymore, but it's alright, I managed to get them back. <laughs> Oof. Now the game is pretty much finished, I'm just going to make the map a bit bigger and place the bots. So finally I'm done. To make it a bit more challenging, I made it that you can only reload once per robot, so now you're forced to switch. And I also recorded the movement of Carlson again. And guys, I don't know what's going on today, but for the second time I nearly got a heart attack. I don't know what I'm doing, but I accidentally deleted all of my scripts. And Unity always tells you, there is no way to recover it once you delete it. But no worries, you can actually just go into your project folder, right click and tap undo delete, or whatever it's called in English. 
And now thank you so much for watching. You can play the game on my itch.io page and you can also download the whole project file for free over my discord. Feedback and questions as always in the comments and have a nice day.